Wake up, babe. A new video just dropped and it has spoilers. Yum! Continuing down the path of anime videos, I'm covering Mashal. If you don't know what this is, then I would like you to think of Harry Potter. But now, think of Saitama. And they fucked. Wait, don't think about that. I have a feeling that after I say something like this, there's going to be a lot of fanfic. Anyway, Mashal Magic and Muscle is a fucking banger of a series. If you can't get behind bring bong bong bring bong bong bring bong 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 bring bong bong bring bong bong bring bong 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 then what the actual fuck is wrong with you? I mean, come on. This song makes you want to get up and dance. Even the ending song about cream puffs makes you want to stand up and twerk. I would know. I was dropping my ass low to this song every time it played. Anyway, where were we? Oh, that's right, Mashal. Mashal is about a muscle head who can't use magic. And in this world, not being able to use magic means you were worthless. And what they literally do if you don't have magic is they come over and they just fucking Now you might be asking, what is the deal with the story? Well, don't let your panties get into a twist, my dear viewer. We're getting there. Our protagonist is a man named Mash Burndead. This dude is a gym bro to the max. This dude pops creatine and lifts like it's going out of style. His father hides him from the world as to not get him killed. But then he's like, I gotta go to the city to get some stuff. And Mash is like, yo dog, it's time for some cream puffs. And so he gets into the city and then he's spotted by some magic users and he leads them back to his home and they get attacked. The ops pull up and they're like, kind sir, please show me the magic list boy. Mash comes home and beats their ass. It's okay because after Mash beats sense into the weak goobers, they convince Mash's father to send him to Hogwarts. Now, this school is for magic doers only. However, in like the first two episodes, this dude Mash Burndead does some unbelievable feats that not only do the students and professors believe he's doing magic, but he makes a woman fall in love. You have to be a special kind of powerful to riz up someone just by saving them. To be honest, she tried to kill him originally, but your boy Mash does not give a shit. After doing some shenanigans with a broom and pretending that he has muscle magic to beat up a character that would eventually become his friend, we now have to worry about these goobers from House Lang, which is the Slytherin of this world. Basically, people are getting turned into puppets because of the house leader, and Mash decides it's time to throw hands with this guy. But this guy just decides that Mash isn't worth his time, so he sends his goonies to fight him. But Mash is like... <laughs> Welp, that's that. Time to show him the works. Oh shit, Mash putting the work on him. Okay, what the fuck is his enemy power up? This is stu- Damn, Mash still didn't care. Box the fuck out of him. After that, he meets some new villains and their name is Innocent Zero. And they're basically like a- the, the Akatsuki from Naruto, if, if you know what that is. Now listen, these guys may look like your average insane asylum inmates, but they are much more than that. They are the strongest wizard- Oh, damn. I, I guess I'm a liar. After Mash absolutely curb stomps this member of Innocent Zero, the dude just runs away. We are now at the point where Mash has been discovered by everyone else, and they find out that he doesn't have magic. He then is taken to a trial, where a judge tries to rule that he should die. Then some dudes called Divine Visionary show up just to be like, you're trash, cuh. But then Innocent Zero tries to kill the judge, which Mash saves. But the Divine Visionaries are still like, you gotta die, bro. Then the Headmaster Wahlberg shows up and he's like, if he becomes a Divine Visionary, you can't kill him. And everyone is like, seems good enough for me. But there is one amongst the Divine Visionaries that's, nah he's still gotta die, and tries to hire another student to kill Mash and everything he loves, but he fails. And now, we're in the tuning exams arc. I have to apologize. As you can tell, my voice is a little messed up, and uh, the singing you are about to hear is not particularly the best. We are fighting dreamers, ba -da 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 -da. fighting dreamers, ba -ba 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 -ba
Scooby Dooby Dah. I mean, the Divine Visionary Selection Exam. After going through the Divine Visionary Selection Exam, Innocent Zero comes back, and Wahlberg tries to pop a cap in the leader, and he's like. then uses Wahlberg's power against him until MASH kicks him in the face. After defending Wahlberg, the world outside of Easton figures out that MASH can't use magic, which causes them to harass him outside of the school, which prompts his friends to stand up for him. So they throw rocks at his friends until MASH scares them silly. Insert stereotypical beach episode here, and I think we're done with the anime synopsis. Now, I get into my rating. I think this anime has been really good. At some points, I'm definitely like, golly gee, this is pretty interesting, and then other times I'm like... But overall, I've got to give this anime an amazing 19 out of 25, which is a 76% on a test. I used 5 categories that were on a scale of 1 to 5. The first category is story and plot development, which I gave a 3. The story at times can feel a little confusing and hard to follow, but when we are in the midst of a hefty arc, but it almost felt like Innocent Zero showed up out of fucking nowhere, like an actual ass pool. So the twist of Innocent Zero just felt awkward. The beatdown that came after was cool, but it felt like the character Cell Wall was just some random. For me, the beatdown was not as satisfactory, and this makes me the big mad because I want to be. The second criteria was character development, which some characters do realize what's wrong with their actions, like Isaac Newton over here and Annabelle. Most of the main cast fails to really develop. This might be because of the fact that there are only two seasons out right now, and things might not be too serious yet, but it's still going to get a two from me. The third category was all about animation quality and art style. The animation quality was... Hey, sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Overall, it was still enjoyable to watch. I was never disgusted by the animation, so that's something at least. This gets a 4 from me. Because even in its lackluster moments, I just remember it's not Naruto, and then I feel better. The fourth judgment that I gave was the world building, which I gave a 5 out of 5. For what it's worth, between seasons 1 and 2, it did an amazing job creating the world and making it not only other parts of the world feel that What the fuck did I write here? <laughs> Seasons 1 and 2 did an amazing job creating the world and making not only other parts of the world feel vast, but Easton Magic High School feel like there were many secret rooms, so the whole school felt vast. Also, in some portions, it felt like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, so that's kind of cool. For the final thing I passed my judgment on was humor and entertainment. In this category, I feel like the anime did an amazing job, so it was an instant 5 out of 5. I swear, I absolutely love this show. While it still has its flaws, I think everyone should give it a shot. Overall, I recommend the anime and would want to start reading the manga if I didn't have the problem of not being able to read. Like every show, this one also has its cring 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 cring. Yeah, that's that's good. Cringe moments. <laughs> And, you know, there's one of those every once in a while. But there are a lot of cool moments that completely numb my mind to all of it. For me, the anime gets a solid A tier on the ranking scale. Good show! Punch the like!